this final step of adding um, Savas Realize content to slides is probably where the biggest change is going to occur. So let's say I want to put this grammar jammer on my um, slides. Typically, I would say, okay, I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to put it on my slides. But that is not how this works for Google Classroom integration. When it works for Google Classroom integration, let's say I want to put my grammar jammer video on this slide. I can do this one of two ways. I can link to the words this video or I can link to the picture itself. And I'm going to do both to show you. But where I'm going to pull my link from is on Google Classroom itself. So I'm going to go back to my Google Classroom. I'm going to find the assignment I have. And when I hover over it, I get these three dots. So I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to copy link. So I'll do that again. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to copy link. When I copy the link, it's going to connect my Savas content to my Google Classroom through my slides, which sounds pretty complicated, but I'll show you again. So I'm going to go to my, here are my slides. I want to connect the words this video to the Google Classroom assignment. So I'm going to highlight the words this video. I'm going to go back to Google Classroom. I'm going to find the assignment and copy link. And then I'm going to paste that into the link box. So that is one way that I can access this content. The other way that I could do that is to link it directly to the picture. So sometimes it's easier for kids to click on the picture. So I would click on the image, click on the linker, and again, link to that same Google Classroom assignment, which is going to bypass the students needing any other sign in for their Savas account. I hope that these five videos have been helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Have a great day.